Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. Today we are diving into a critical aspect of business central development where to create procedures in tables or in card or in coordinates. So before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the codes, whatever I'm discussing in the video. So please watch this. And the second one is I would like to tell you that this is my blog where you can find the useful information. I'll be updating my blog every week, twice or once. So please <coughs> follow my blog. And this is my YouTube channel. So subscribe to the channel and you can join as a member where you can find the exclusive videos for only members like top important interview questions for the functional consultant as a beginner or intermediate or advanced and i'll be uploading the project soon for the technical development that is a customer data management and also i'll be uploading various exercises and explanations in the community that is exclusive for members only video so without wait let me just start with the today's topic so as you design your application it is essential to make the right choices to ensure maintainability reusability and code organization so this three are very very important as a developer okay so one is maintainability so your code should be easily maintainable okay and second one is reusability okay if you are if there are there are some logics which has to be uh, again and again you need it so you should create it properly and code organization so these three are the important aspect of any developer so in this video we will explore the advantages and disadvantages and real time scenarios of each approach with an example like there is procedure okay everyone will be having this question we have procedures where we can create the procedure in the pages we can create the procedure in the table and also we can create a procedure in the coordinate but where it really makes sense when i should create a procedure in page when should i create a procedure in the table when to create it in the coordinate which is the proper way okay that is what we are going to see with a clear example so let's begin with creating procedure in tables okay let us understand creating procedures in the tables this approach can be enticing as it keeps related functionality directly within the ta table simplifying the code organization so what is the advantage okay talking about the advantage placing procedures directly in the table can simplify code organization okay so you can simplify the code organization as related functionality is kept within the table if it is relates to the table then it simplifies okay whereas the disadvantage comes is like it might lead to less modular code okay the modularity will be less less modular code and code and it should it may result in duplication of duplication if similar functionality is required in other tables or pages okay if you are creating in the table that procedure will be for that table and if you want to uh, if you want to implement the same uh, same logic in a different table then again you have to write it okay so whenever a specific field is updated fine so now when should i use this procedure in the table okay when should i use the procedure let us say for example whenever a specific field is updated the corresponding procedure is triggered making it easy to encapsulate logic tied to that field for example consider sales invoice table with a total amount field okay we can create procedure inside the table to calculate the commission for each sales person based on a fixed percentage the procedure calculate commission will automatically execute whenever the total amount field is modified so uh, imagine a situation like calculating commission okay so calculating commission like suppose you have a sales invoice table okay in sales invoice table you have a sales invoice table with a field named total amount 
that represents the total amount of the invoice okay you want to calculate the commission for each salesperson based on a fixed percentage whenever a new sales invoice record is inserted so how you can create for example i can create a table okay so i can just tell okay i'm just creating only for your understanding okay so just this is a, a thing okay sales invoice and there are fields where i have um, for example i have a, a number okay as integer field where i can write the uh, validate okay so validate or not validate and i have the second field where this field is for total amount okay so this field is for total amount okay and this field i'm just making it as decimal got it so what i can do is i can create a procedure to calculate the commission okay so here globally i'll be creating a procedure where this will create a this will create a calculate commission this will calculate the commission okay and you can write the logic for the commission creating the commission here okay you can write the uh, um, thing for creating the commission here okay and once if this is calculated okay so once if this is here then what you can you have to do so this procedure you can create it and you can call it in the total amount field okay you can call this whenever the number is added like the sales invoice sales is added so you can calculate the total amount like you can just uh, uh, trigger inside this trigger inside this field trigger you can just tell like on validate okay on validate it should do it should call the calculate total amount calculate commission okay so this is a simple one which you can use it for the table got it so in this scenario creating the calculate commission procedure inside the sales invoice table is appropriate because it directly relates to the sales invoice total amount field so it keeps the calculation logic localized within the table and ensures that the commission is calculated automatically whenever the total amount field is modified got it so let us take an advantage let us take the next thing that is let's discuss about creating a procedure inside the card page or a page okay so what happens this approach is suitable when you have complex page specific operations okay if you have anything which is related only with the space specific to this pages then you can go ahead with this placing the procedure directly in the relevant page makes the code self-contained and manageable so the advantage is what as i told placing procedures in the relevant page can make the code more self-contained where the disadvantage is the approach could lead to code duplication if the same functionality is required in a multiple pages okay so see, let us take a uh, example like um discount on you have to apply a discount on sales order okay you have to apply a discount on sales order so now imagine you have a sales order page okay and you want to apply a discount to the order based on certain condition such as customer loyalty level or order value the discount calculation logic is complex and requires accessing data from various related tables so what you can do is you can write this logic in the page itself okay so that is what you should decide where and how you can uh, where you need it okay how you, when what is the situation you have to use this uh, procedure if you want to use that in the table so if you want to calculate the discount okay calculating the discount um for the specific page which can access the table okay which can access various tables where you have to write it in the uh, in the pages okay indirectly you can write it in the page so next one so you can create a sales order page where you can just write a page or write the uh, procedure in that card uh, card page itself and call it so in this scenario placing the apply discount or the procedure inside the page itself is advisable now let us come to the code unit part 
okay if you wanted to write the procedure in the code unit part this approach excels in promoting code reusability and maintainability so this is the best method to do the advantage is placing procedures in a separate code unit promotes code reuse as multiple pages and tables can call the same code unit functions it also allows for better separation of concerns making the code more maintainable but the disadvantage is it may require additional effort to set up and manage the code unit but it generally provides a more structured approach okay this provides the structured approach of development let us say, take the scenario um currency conversion utility you need to implement a currency conversion utility that can be used across multiple pages and tables within the business central so it's a basic currency conversion okay the utility should handle currency conversion between different currencies based on the exchange rates maintained in a separate table so what you will do you will write a uh, code in it okay uh, where you can just call the parameters for example like from currency and to currency everything so for example you can just call a code in it the code in it okay where uh, you will be creating a procedure here the procedures okay and here you will be writing the thing for convert currency convert currency okay and you will be passing the parameters like from currency okay if you have any code for that okay because all the currencies will be managing it in the code so from currency to currency and the amount okay and you will be having the exchange rate okay and converted amount as a variable you will be having that what exchange rate colon and it will be like decimal okay if you have any tables you can also decimal okay and uh, in the begin like you can just write the uh, formula here you can just start writing the formula so you can type like uh, how to current like if from currency is equal to this then what you have to write it so everything you can just start and end it here okay so this is how the code unit will be usable so you can just call this code unit whenever you want so in this scenario we have created a separate code unit okay you can just make this code unit name as currency conversion util utilities okay so currency conversion utilities with a convert currency procedure okay so this is what convert currency procedure you have already written it okay this utility can be used from various pages and tables whenever currency conversion is required promoting the code so you can uh, required promoting the code reusability and maintainability uh, maintaining a modular design okay so this has a proper maintainability okay uh, reusability and designs are properly uh, structured okay everything so the best practices in business central development typically recommend the third approach which is the code unit approach okay creating a procedure in a separate code unit this promotes as i told this promotes the reusability maintainability modular design whatever so when a specific functionality is needed in a different tables or pages you can call the relevant function from the code unit so now let me summarize the best practices and provide real life scenarios for each so uh, creating a procedure in table is advisable when the logic is closely tied to a specific fields in the table like commission calculated we discussed earlier so it keeps the logic localized and triggers automatically on field update creating procedures in a card page is suitable for handling complex page specific operations such as applying discounts during order processing as it maintains code self containment and improves the readability lastly creating procedures in a separate code unit is ideal for reusable utilities the need to be called from various parts of the application like as the example we saw currency conversion utility which is the best way to implement the code unit 
okay in conclusion deciding where to create procedures in table or code or pages or code units should be based on the specific use case and design principles you aim to achieve and choosing where to create procedures depends on the specific functionality context and usage procedures in table are suitable <coughs> when the logic is related closely to the specific fields if you find this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content on business central development and other microsoft technologies if you have any questions or need further clarification please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and happy coding take care bye bye